Sean Burr, um, Connor Scott came to this tournament as one of the favourites, but you've knocked him out in round one. You must be absolutely delighted with that performance. I'm very delighted. He's a great player. Uh, you know, I knew what I was coming into, and uh, I'm glad to be on top. What did you know about Connor coming into this? Because obviously... He gained his tour card a few months ago. We weren't sure whether he was going to be here. We weren't sure whether you were going to be here. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, I knew he got his card, um, and I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to play, but obviously they allowed it, which I, I agree with totally. I'm glad they're uh, here. They should be here. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a great match. For yourself, well, how's the preparation been, obviously? with the, the, the event being pushed back, and I'm sure there was, there was sort of doubts in your mind whether you would be able to get over here. How has it all been those, those few months leading up to this? I'm glad of the break, to be honest. I'm glad it was postponed because it gave me a, a, little, a little more time to prepare because uh, the holiday season's tough, and uh, you know it's a long way to travel, so it worked for me. It was good. Going up there on the lakeside stage must have been a, a very, very special moment for yourself, and to come out and produce a superb game like that must have been extra special. Very special. A dream come true. Um, I'm looking forward to the next one. For yourself, do you feel like that's just the sort of the tip of the iceberg, really? There's so much more that you could show on this stage. I can compete uh, with the best in the world for sure. Uh, my averages show that, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next match and take it one match at a time. For you, I mean, during the pandemic, darts over in, in North America, we saw bits and pieces, whereas... Over in Europe, there were still plenty of darts going on. Mm -hmm. For you, how were the preparations for this tournament? Honestly, I just practiced at home because uh, Canada is a huge country and uh, it's hard to travel. COVID really put a, a hamper on our play. So it's been just me, just me in my basement and throwing darts. Do you really have belief after, after beating one of the favorites for this tournament that there's, there's, there's chances for you to go far? And chances you possibly win this tournament. There's a long way to go, of course. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can win this tournament. My averages show in the past uh, uh, that uh, I'm capable of it. Um, like I always say, it's it's one thing to be capable of something. It's another thing to actually do it. So we'll see. And I'll just take it again, one match at a time. I've talked to a couple of the guys this week already from over from Canada. There's a very strong contingent of Canadian men and women over here. Seems to be in a good place, not just Canadian darts, but North American darts. Uh, it's, it's in a very good place. The CDC has done an amazing job. Um, you know, I don't play as much as I'd like. I'd like to play more. But again, it's, it's hard with work and family. And, and just the, geographically, North America is huge. And um, yeah, but uh, North America is super strong. We have Jules, uh, Danny Baggish, uh, Jeff Smith, uh, you know, there's there's numerous numerous people and a lot of people that you guys don't know of who are capable of coming over here and winning this. 100%. Maybe you could be one of them, Sean. I could be. We'll see. Okay, brilliant. Cheers for your time and we'll see you soon. Thank you very much.